It can be tricky trying to find a quiet place in a hospital. I got here at NIH this morning, packed shuttle again, no social distancing. Then I had phlebotomy, I had six vials of blood taken, they wanted a urine sample, that's why I'm in the bathroom. At 10 I have CT, and at 11.30 I have an MRI. And the line for the food was so long at the little cafe that was near phlebotomy that I just ate a payday bar for breakfast. This is hysterical. Like it's so coated, you won. Yeah, I wonder what she's dropping off. We're here again. It's the only quiet place where I can film. I went to CT and the tech asked me if I was a healthy volunteer. And then I was helping a patient find the silverware and the napkins and he said, oh, all you guys are so nice here. And I said, no, I'm a patient. I don't work here. It's gonna make it hard for me to convince people that I am so sick, huh? I have MRI next. Well, we'll see how much time it takes. I'm going in at 11.30. I'm guessing I get out at four. You guys can wager now. You can pause and write down how long do you think an MRI of my brain, my cervical spine, thoracic spine, and lumbar spine is gonna take. I am out of the MRI machine and it is only two o'clock. Yay for how quick they are to MRI at NIH. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know That looks like real bread. I know, it doesn't feel like real bread. No? Can <laughs> nope. I feel it? My hands are yeah. clean. Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. I finished day two at NIH. Jerry and I just ate our dinner out here on the balcony. Best $10 I ever spent. And it's so warm we had to like be in tank tops. It's pretty cool. Day three at NIH. I thought maybe I'd get some food in the second floor cafeteria because there were signs saying that you could eat there, but it's closed too. The B1 cafeteria downstairs is closed. Second story cafeteria is closed coffee shop by the bookstore is closed. That means that there's only one place to eat in the entire building and it doesn't serve hot food. It makes for long days. I'm glad I have my apple. I really want to know, really want to know If I never figure out where the road goes Now it's time for me to start my 24-hour urine. If you haven't seen this video, it is a video of the process. So I don't have to film it all this time. But I have a new bag. Keep it in this insulated bag. It's got a nice bag in it. And I'm off to audiology to get my ears examined. So your, your PET scan MI looks good. Oh, good. Uh, and uh, it's louder, right? About the same. About the same. same. Yeah, but this might be a little different. It's louder, it might matter. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. it's way yeah. louder. Yeah, it has to do with, I think we're talking about it, like, when you just talk about that, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that the dentist. Yeah, when you hear it, when, when you When he works on this side, woo! Yeah, you could hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my, yeah. So we could probably see that in about, you know, a couple of years, two, three years. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. My ears look good. It's 10 o'clock. My next appointment is at 1. Probably go get some brunch. I was able to get into the eye clinic early so I could go home early. My eyes are really dilated. Well, that kind of went south. After I saw the fellow who told me everything was stable, he went and got the doctor, and the doctor came in and told me everything wasn't stable. Then he saw any growth on the spot that I had blistered off in 2017. I asked him, could he that afternoon? He said, yeah. He said if I waited a year, the risk was too high. Then I asked him about six months to see my doctor at home, and he said that that was okay. I, I, I couldn't do it here, not with an MRI in the morning, because it always gives me a headache. I got out at 12.30. The next ride was at, was at 2 o'clock. So I just walked out, and I'm taking the subway back to the hotel. Already a busy morning at NIH. I had to be at 7 a.m. I got 
here a little bit early. I was able to drop off the 24 hour urine jug and do my 7 a.m. MRI. Oh, I need to take my paperwork to vouchers. So I took it to vouchers, and I'm out, and now I'm going to try to get in early for my appointment for my spot in the clinic. Why, Shelton? They got new furniture. Well, it was new two years ago, probably. Look at this table, it's a big shape. This is not the furniture they had before. So I went to clinic early and they said that no one shows up till 10. So I'm just gonna come back at 10 and see if I can get in early because we have a plane to catch. So getting in early is good if I can do it, but there's no point for the next hours. I think I'm gonna see if I can take a nap. I slept a little in the MRI machine. It was an MRI of my abdomen and it would take a picture every time I emptied my lungs. But when I was sleeping, it would be a shallow breath and I could tell I was emptying my lungs so it wouldn't take the picture. So I tried to stay awake. I couldn't really because I got up at 4.30, well, 3.30 this morning, which in my time zone is 12.30 in the morning. I think I'll be sleeping on the plane. What do you think? I am waiting to be seen by the fellow by the neurosurgeon. Uh, there's a tumor, you know, in the back of your head, right at the brainstem, that we have been watching. Yeah. Now, it has been growing yeah. slowly, and it is still growing. Okay. okay. If you are asymptomatic, yeah. then we don't really need to do anything. Okay. So we just need to keep watching. And this other one, there's one a little bit to the right. Are you concerned it's about that one? It is. You know, sometimes these tumors appear, and sometimes they don't do anything else. They become stable. Um, so uh, we just go by pure symptoms. Sure. You know. Um, so as long as you're feeling fine, we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Really. So what, when would it be time to call? These are the kind of symptoms that you won't be questioning yourself, whether it's real or not. Okay. You know, hiccups that are unremitting, you know, they don't go away. Then right. you're swallowing things and you feel like you're choking a little bit. Okay. Um, your headaches get significantly worse. Okay. Your speech is, you know, disrupted. Well, it's a pleasure to see you again. Good to see and you. we'll see you when you come back in a year. Or so. In a year then, yeah. I'll just come back okay. in May. Okay. All right, I got out of neuro, I got my voucher, and there is a jazz band in the courtyard, and they are playing Norwegian Wood, which is the first song I ever played bass on. Can you hear them? Now I am gonna walk from building 10 to the gate, and then I'm gonna take the subway back to the hotel and meet up with Jerry before we leave for the airport. He's sitting in the lobby. So this trip to NIH, we took the subway and shuttle buses because rental cars are $100 a day. I guess it's because people don't want to ride mass transportation during a pandemic. Been from cliffs so high, trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. has been waiting for me. We got to the airport and a lot of the stores are closed. Pandemic travel's weird. All the closed stores over here too. So weird. Look how pretty this airport is though. Look at that. Like a cathedral for airplanes. Sky is falling. Even if the sky is falling